coming to you from Studio 703. A show made for students by students. This is Bronco TV. Hey Broncos, welcome back to our final episode of Bronco TV. I'm your host Taylor. Um, no, I'm their host Taylor. I'm pretty sure I'm their host Taylor. <sighs> Whatever, I'm just gonna practice my moves for prom. Uh, you know prom already happened. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Mom, yeah, we have an issue. Hey Broncos, it's Vivian. With the school year coming to an end, our Broncos are making every last moment count. Broncos came together for the last time at prom and the end of the year assembly. These events celebrate how far our school has come. The performing arts departments took the stage for one last show this year. Dance. Orchestra. One X. I killed four people in a hit and run back in 97. And choir had amazing performances and everyone was entertained. Hey, um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm drawing. I'm a really good artist. Oh, can I see it? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, let's just leave that to the real artists. While sports teams compete in CIFs, the visual arts students of Rancho Bernardo take a different approach to showcasing their skills. RB's visual arts work tirelessly to produce outstanding work, which has not gone unnoticed by professionals. The Groff exhibit, it's meant to be the best of high school art throughout the county. I don't know how many were submitted, but I would imagine it would be hundreds. And we were very honored to have seven pieces out of eight accepted. Exhibits such as the Groff allow students to not only be recognized for amazing work, but to put their heart and soul on display for others to see. Art helps you to explore yourself and can express to other people. I think art is the best way to express yourself to other people. Shows are everything for art, you know. I mean, the performing arts do concerts and dance recitals and that kind of thing. And in the visual arts, we show our work. So it's a big deal for us. You know, we're not very showy. We don't really get out there. But I feel like we are doing, you know, really current work and just, I'm very proud of my artists. Man, I'm exhausted. Me too. Why are we doing this again? I don't even know. Well, you want to go check out what boys track is doing? Yeah, let's go. Okay. With only days left in the season, our Bronco athletes are exerting great force to finish stronger than ever. Boys track and field won league 6-0. They qualified 28 boys going into playoffs and finished strong by winning CIFs. Season's going really well. Boys varsity went undefeated, so we won Palomar League title. The team dynamic is very tight knit. It's progressively each year. It's very, very close because especially with a sport like pole vault, where you're flinging yourself into the air, you have to be able to trust your teammates. Boys golf finished off their season by winning league with a 10-0 record. They came in second overall in CIFs and advanced to do well in the Southern California Regionals. There's a lot of pressure involved when there's high expectations, but our team takes it as a challenge and we work uh, twice as hard and put in twice the time. I signed with San Diego State next year and hopefully I could make an immediate impact on the team and see where that takes me. 
Baseball won league and ended with an overall record of 29 and 5. They have earned a spot in the top 11 in state rankings. They ended strong in CIFs in the third round. We've had starting young or underclassmen for three years now. You know, when we won in my sophomore year, we had six starting sophomores. So now that we're all seniors and a lot of us have college commitments, uh, everyone's everyone was looking for us to, you know, live up to the name. I have a commitment to USD. I signed there for a scholarship, and then the Major League Baseball draft is is another option, and we'll see how that goes in June. Congratulations to our spring athletes for a successful season. Bring it on, Summer. Hey, so what are you doing after graduation? Oh, I'm going to San Francisco State. Oh, awesome. Well, let's check out what our other seniors are doing after graduation. Hi, Broncos. It's Keon, and we're out here in the student quad asking seniors what they're doing after graduation. What's up? Here with Mark Kang, what are your plans after high school? Um, I'm going to Duke University. I'm going to be studying economics and public policy. Awesome, awesome. Here with Armand Shaw, what, what are your plans after high school? I'm going to UC Santa Barbara, and I'm going to be studying computer science. Computer science, good stuff. What are your plans after high school? Um, I'm going to be attending Johns Hopkins University, and I plan on majoring in biology and minoring in psychology. What's up, Michaela? What are your, what are your plans after high school? Um, I'm going to Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska and kind of study nursing. Awesome, nursing. I'm going to go to the University of San Diego and major in business administration. What are your plans after high school? I want to be an IO psychologist, but I also want to do like a singing career too, someday. Annie, what are your plans after high school? Um, go to college. Go to college, that's a good one, that's new, that's new. Wow, I can't believe the final episode of Bronco TV is actually over. I know, it's so sad. Um, hey, wanna go get some Rubios? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, well make sure to check us out on YouTube and, and subscribe. subscribe. Okay, All right, let's go. go. Oh. <laughs> you have the first line. Oh yeah. Come on, brothers. <laughs>